There is a tiny thing that I want to talk about in this session, and that is the annotation name uh, at depends on. And that is actually for determining and specifying the order of uh, the initialization and shot downing of the beans you know, between them. You can set some order because if you don't, uh, if you don't actually set the order, it will the application context itself will determine some order inside itself. But if for some whatever reason, for example, let's say that the, we have a bean named car, not our example, we have the bean car and the super engine, and the super engine is not going to be used inside the car. You know, let's say that it's not going to be used inside the car, and but let's say that for what for some reason we need to know that before v as the car are being initialized we need to know that the engine super engine is uh actually initialized before us so uh, actually i've added these two uh destruction and instruct in initialization uh, methods here with post construct and pre destroy to both of them, and we want to do some experiments. So if here we said we say that the car uh, depends on uh, the super engine, we should give the name of of the just forget about this red line here. We could give an array and say that this car, the car uh, being definition, is dependent actually depends on the these other being definitions and that way uh, the IOC container the application context will first initialize them and then will come to the car class and initialize it for you so now if we call you see that uh, first the super engine is initialized and then the car is initialized if we change it and if we make the super engine dependent on the car means that uh, the car should be initialized before the super engine and, and if if I run it you can see that uh, the car is initialized and then the super engine is initialized so as you can see that depends on is specifies determining actually the initialization order of the beans it also uh, determines the destruction order between the uh, beans. So here, so the way that the IOC container and the spring works is that when a, a bean is dependent on another bean, it will first be destroyed itself and then the dependency will be destroyed. So now because the super engine depends on car at the destruction uh, time, it will first, the, the super engine will be destroyed so as you can see, destroying the super engine is first called, and then the destroying car is called. That is because we are dependent on this one, and at the destruction point, it is not dependent on us. So we can safely destroy ourselves and then destroy the dependencies. So these two actually are the opposite, the initialization order and the destruction order. And we can manage them with this depends on annotation.